what's up what's up y'all it's hot okay like it is so hot in atlanta right now i feel like it went from zero to 100 real quick <laughs> so anyway you guys so my name is michelle welcome to my channel if you enjoy fashion style some luxury you are in the right place um today i'm going to be talking about spring fashion i'm going to share with you guys some pieces that i recently picked up and i wanted to do a combo video because i owe you guys a styling video so i decided to style these pieces up and share it in this video so this will be a haul slash styling video okay so i have some things from zara h&m um, something from the Frankie shop. I have something from Loewe as well as St. Laurent and I believe that's it. Yeah, that's it. So let's just go ahead and get to the video. All right, y'all. I want to apologize in advance. If you see a glare in my glasses, like I said, y'all, it is so hot outside. Okay. So the sun is super bright right now. And then also if you hear my AC, y'all listen, like I said, it's hot. So you may hear it in the background because girl, if I turn it off, I will burn up. Okay. So Let's just get into it. I know you guys love Zara, so I want to start off with Zara first. First piece that I recently got is this top right here. And of course, you guys know I will have clips on either side to show you guys um, the outfit or the pieces, I should say, on me. So we have this top here. This is an oversized yellow top. It is striped. You guys see more of the detail because it may be getting washed out right now. You guys, this top had been on my radar whenever I was on Zara. I would always like I had it saved, which is actually a pro tip. If you see anything that you like, definitely add it to your favorites um, because things go in and out of stock at Zara. I feel like Zara is really good with like bringing certain things back in stock. So just save it in your favorites and turn on your alerts. And if you're looking for something, it'll probably be um, and it'll be easier to track if you have it in your favorites. So this is an item that was going in and out of stock. And you guys, as soon as I saw it, I just knew I had to get it. It took me a little bit to get it. It though so I ended up going out of stock and then it came back in stock and I snatched it up I am a sucker for a button-down shirt button-down shirts can be dressed up and down so versatile you can wear it with like sneakers you can also pair it up and wear it with like trousers and heels so, so I got this one this is in a size small it is oversized you guys will see so I recommend sizing down if you want to keep your size or go a size up just know it's going to be pretty oversized but I love this top I have been loving yellow um for sure especially like this nice kind of like buttery yellow so highly recommend this top I opted to pair it with another piece I'm going to share with you guys which is a pair of red um heels from zara and then the denim skirt is also from zara so it's a full set to me this is a brunch look like i feel like this is so cute so brunch so spring um these looks weren't styled with handbags just because i didn't have a chance to grab the handbags i would want to wear when i was filming you guys know i'm a mom of two so my time can be limited girl so <laughs> i didn't have a chance to grab any bags with these looks but i would definitely wear a cute little white bag probably like a jacquemus bag um i can even pair it with another thing that i'm going to share with you guys pretty soon from zara as well another handbag so yeah so i would definitely wear a cute little small bag with this look it is perfect for brunch like i said like i love it i also love how oversized the top is how you can kind of like tuck it in the skirt and kind of give that kind of big look at the top i love that i feel like that's just so chic so that is that look. That's how I opted to style it. And it's actually, like I said, a full Zara look. So I can just go ahead and share the um, shoes that I wore with that look. That is these heels here. You guys know red has been my jam. Red has been very popular. You guys know that. So I knew I wanted to get a pair of red heels. I actually did not have a pair. I have like a dark kind of maroon color, but not red. I was looking for the perfect pair. I didn't really um, break the bank. So when I saw these on Zara, I just knew I had to get them. I got them in my usual size. Um, the heel height is very reasonable. It's like maybe three inches or a little bit less than that. I'm thinking three inches. Yeah, these are three inches. And these fit perfectly. They're very comfortable and they're so cute. I love the fact that they're a slingback. Very comfortable. This was not digging in the back of my um, ankle. Granted, I have not worn this for like a long period of time just yet. But I usually don't have any issues with um, Zara's heels um, really. So anyway love these heels you guys highly recommend if you're looking for a red pair of heels consider getting these they were like 49 dollars, which to me i don't feel like you know is that bad so i highly recommend these i'm going to be wearing these down in the spring okay girl down <laughs> So before we transition into the next look, I wanted to share a few pieces that I didn't share in my try on. And the first one is this bag right here. This is this gold Zara bag. The strap is just attached um, here, but I'm not going to cut it off just yet. 
because I'm kind of on the fence about this bag. You guys know I'm a handbag girl, okay? I love a good handbag. So when I saw this one, I opted to get it because I actually don't have any gold handbags. And I felt like this was fun and different. Zara does a really good job of having like kind of different handbags. Um, so if you kind of have more of your traditional styles and you want to get something in a little bit of a like funky shape, you can go to Zara for that. This doesn't have a tag. I believe it was like $49.90 as well for this bag. But I think it's cute. I love the mixed metal. I love a good mixed metal moment. And I feel like this is a cute bag. Um, I was saying that I felt like I could have worn this bag with that look. Um, for sure. So anyway, um, it comes with a crossbody strap. I probably won't ever wear a crossbody because I feel like it just wouldn't look right. But it's good to have a crossbody strap with it. Um, but yeah, I think this bag is really cute. I was kind of on the fence because you know when you feel like do you really need another, you know, bag? Um, that's kind of how I felt, but I opted to just buy it anyway. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about this bag here. Should I keep it? Should I send it back? I might even be outside of the return window, girl. So I don't even know if I can send it back. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is this little cute bag here. So another thing Zara does a really good job of are accessories in terms of like jewelry. Um, I saw these earrings online. I did not pick them up, but when I was in the store recently, I decided to get them and it is these earrings here. Um, hopefully you guys can see them. They're like cute floral earrings, um, like kind of like drop earrings. I love fun earrings like this from Zara. Like look how cute that is. I love that. Now. The only thing with this pair of earrings is I was going to wear them with this video, but can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear that? Girl, it's loud. These earrings are very loud. I kind of wish, while I appreciate the attention to detail on how they can like open up, I don't know if you guys can see that, I wish it was kind of stuck together um, because I feel like then it wouldn't make as much noise. I already ripped the packaging on these so I can't return them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I love the way they look. I think they're perfect for the springtime, but they're just very noisy. So I'll still link them down below, but keep that in mind. All right, so next piece is also from Zara and it is this top here. So here's the top. It is a white ribbed top. It's kind of like a crop top style. And it has these long pieces at the bottom with like a little silver grommet, I believe this is called, or fasten here at the bottom. Such a cute little top, but it is a little big at the straps. Um, it was $22.90 and medium is like my usual size and the straps are just kind of loose. Um, so I was kind of thinking, man, um, I feel like that will, it will continue to get looser and looser as I wear it. Um, so I don't know about this top, but I want to still style it and I feel like it's still a very cute top. I would just have to size down in this. So I recommend it. Um, if you do have a larger bust though, I'm not necessarily sure how that would work. At the same time, it is ribbed. So ribbed um, material like does stretch. So you could be able to make it work. But yeah, you guys, it was just kind of big. And I opted to wear it with my one of my newest, latest little Lux editions. Let me get it. So I went to Miami. Um, I'm actually originally from Miami, and but I don't live there anymore. And I just love being able to go back to my hometown and just, you know, see family, see friends, but also just experience my hometown just in a different way as an adult. And especially all of the changes that have been happening in Miami. So me and my husband went for like a really quick trip. And you guys, it was so much fun. It was a really good time. It was a good getaway. Um, and yeah, I went to the design district because we ate at um, Red Rooster which I recommend if you guys are going to Miami, I highly recommend you go to Red Rooster. The food is phenomenal. We went for brunch and it's in a city called Overtown and which is not too far from Wynwood. Um, and Wynwood is where like there are a lot of like places for you to shop and you can also like go to different food eateries and things like that. So we went to the design district and I went to La Hueve and I knew it was a setup. I was like, this is a scheme that Todd set up <laughs> because for me to go to La Hueve was a setup for myself. And anyway, I saw these jeans. You guys know I have the denim. If you guys don't know as well, I have the regular denim version of these Loewe jeans and I love them. So when I saw the dark denim, because I have been having a dark denim moment, I opted to get the dark denim version. Uh, of course I did. <laughs> so you guys will see again, I'll include the clips of me styling it up. 
um i got this in a size 40. it is a little loose in the waist but the sales associates told me it's better for me to keep it this way and kind of bring it in with an, with alterations versus going a size down to a size 38 because the pockets won't lay as flat which i did see that um because of my hips so the size 38 fit but just the pockets were like gonna stick out and that wasn't gonna look right so i just stuck to the 40 and i love these i cannot wait to dress these up the look i showed you guys absolutely would wear it just like that um i also have let me show y'all this bustier that i got from zara um the denims are not exactly the same but i can definitely see myself wearing like this bustier tucked into the denim as well for like a dark denim moment um of course i can wear this with like a nice crisp white button down and some heels like the opportunities are endless with this pair of jeans so so happy to have this in my collection all right, so let's go ahead and transition into H&M. So H&M launched their studio collection. And their studio collection, I like that H&M does that. They have these collections where it's like a little bit more pricey, but it's really like well thought out in terms of how the pieces are cohesive in the collections. And they have pretty good things. Um, because I have like so many clothes, sometimes some of the collection pieces I don't necessarily need. Um, so I only pick up things that I feel like are really good additions to my wardrobe and when i saw this two-piece set from the studio collection i just knew i had to get it and they're also both reasonably priced so like i said the studio collection can be pricey but these pieces weren't so love that for me and love that for any of you guys that also want these pieces um so let me just go ahead and share them so this is a oh let me button this up oh first piece is this little shirt here um it does cinch in at the waist which i love and you guys know two piece sets are so versatile like you can mix and match them of course so i love that um aspect about two piece set so it's whenever i see a two piece set girl i'm like do i need that and i usually feel like i do <laughs> so um yeah i got this this is in a size medium and it fit really well and then we have these jeans so the jeans are like a long pair of jeans, but then it has this really nice cuff at the bottom, which I thoroughly enjoy. Love these jeans. They're also very comfortable. I got them in a size eight and they're very comfortable. Love everything about these jeans. Love everything about this set. You know, when it comes to spring, um, light denim is um, really good for springtime. So I knew I just wanted to get this set once I saw that. You guys know I'm a denim girl. So whenever I see a denim two piece, I'm like, my radar is off. I'm like, dur, 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 dur. <laughs> I'm so annoying y'all. So for that look, I wanted to do silver, all silver. So I wore it with my Hanifa silver shoes. I would also do silver pumps. I felt like that would be really cute. And I paired it with these accessories that are also from H&M. So the first one is this cuff right here, which when I saw it, I just knew I had to snatch it up. This is such a cute cuff. I got it in a size extra small, small. At first I was nervous because I wasn't able to get it on. Um, but you just kind of got to finagle it and then it goes on. Look how nice this cuff is. I don't have anything like this in my jewelry collection. Um, so H&M has been coming through with the jewelry pieces for me personally. And they're also very like um, reasonably priced. So I got this. If you have a baby wrist like me, I recommend the extra small small. If your wrist is a little bit bigger, it's just safer to get the medium large. Then I saw these cute little swirl earrings, silver swirl earrings. So I got them. I wish they were bigger. Um... I would want a 2X these two earrings that I got from H&M. Um, but these are still very cute. I just love the little details of them, but I just wish they were bigger. I feel like they would make more of a statement. For a bag, I would do a silver bag. I would do a mixed metal like the Jacquemus pouch, something like that. Like I would do a mixed metal silver bag um, with the look and keep it all light and silver. Light denim and silver for sure. Um, but yeah that that's that and then just throwing in another accessory that i got from h&m i got these earrings here they're like cute little floral earrings again i've been having a floral moment with accessories um and i wish they were like a little bit bigger because i feel like they would just make so much more of a statement but i'm gonna keep these because they're really cute and perfect for the springtime so i highly recommend you check out h&m for cute affordable jewelry pieces so let's get into this next look so this next look isn't necessarily super spring but it's transitioning maybe from winter to spring a little bit um the colors are darker let's just say that so i got this top from h&m it is this like kind of long jacket um top situation i got it in a size medium 
um, and it has these like kind of studs on the side on the sleeve I should say on the side it did come with a matching denim skirt which I bought um, but I decided to return the denim skirt because it has a slit in the middle and I'm not a slit in the middle girl like I realized that like buying the denim skirt confirmed that for me I'm just not like if you guys watch love is blind this past season season six um Chelsea says the denim skirt makes me feel very uncomfy when it has the slit in the middle so I returned that but I did keep this top and I paired it with my um some Zara cargo pants that I got from the men's section and I paired it with the same red heels from Zara as well um for a bag I would definitely do a black bag with this look I do wish this v neck part was a little bit lower just a little bit um just so you can show a little bit more chest in the middle but Either way, really good. It's a really good size as well. Very comfortable material and it has shoulder pads, which I love. Shoulder pads always elevate um, a piece for me. So like this top. Who do we have last? Okay, Frankie Shop is last. All right, so let's get into this piece from the Frankie Shop. I love the Frankie Shop. I don't really have, I think this might be the only piece I have because something else I bought, I returned it. I love the Frankie Shop. I love their pieces. I love their elevated kind of looks. Um, really really nice and I had been eyeing this sweater but I just opted to not get it I was like uh, do you need it do you need it do you need it and then again when something is on my mind if it if it goes out of stock and comes back in stock I'll say eight times out of ten I'll try to get it um, and that's how I felt about this sweater but judging on how hot it is today I'm wondering if it's going to stay this way if so I probably won't be able to wear this sweater until the fall of this year but that's okay um, but it is this oversized chunky knit sweater guys the weight of this is so nice this is such a nice weighted piece um, and it's a nice oversized um, piece as well and it only comes in one size and you guys will see how I styled it I opted to wear it with boots um, but you can also wear this like a pair of jeans and some sneakers and kind of do like an oversized cozy kind of look it will look really nice with this as well but I love it. I love it. It's just super heavy and thick. So I don't know if this is going to make it in the spring, um, but we'll see. If it does, I absolutely can't wait to wear this. But as you guys see in the clip, I paired it with my Zara kind of um, maroon color croc boots. Um, I feel like that's really cute. I also paired it with my chunky Julia Vaughn necklace, which is nice as well. Um, if I were to do a bag, I would probably do mixed metal as well. So the Jacquemus pouch would be perfect um, or my little Brandon Blackwood bag I feel like that would be really nice too um that gold Zara bag as well would look really nice with that look and then I paired it with my final piece that I want to share with you guys actually I almost forgot about her I got a pair of sunnies from Saint Laurent um I got these at actually 50% off so I'll link them down below for you guys hopefully they're still on sale um shout out to Janae if you follow her she's a big time fashion influencer on the internet and she actually shared this with us all and I just knew I had to get it but like I said I'll link it down below you guys these glasses are absolutely everything they have a really light yellow tint which I love yellow tinted glasses and with black frame to just go so well with um, different pieces especially in my wardrobe um, and it has a silver bar here at the top so you guys will see me wearing this pair of glasses I love them and yeah you guys love these I'm gonna get really good use out of it um for sure just in general but especially for the springtime all right you guys I hope that you guys enjoyed this video it was long kind of sorta we'll see when I edit it um kind of chatty but I wanted to come and share these pieces with you all and style them up I may start to do this going forward just go ahead and just style the pieces up for you guys in one video um because I feel like it's kind of easier to talk through me putting the different um, outfits together while also showing you guys what I picked up. If you enjoy me filming it this way, let me know down below. Um, as always, I will have anything that I can find linked down below for you guys as well. I'm thinking about doing a video where I focus on styling pieces for certain occasions. So like if you're going to be going to concerts this summer, if you're like, you know, go to work and office and you want some ideas for some outfits, I'm thinking about doing a video like that. So if you would enjoy it, let me know down below and I'll get started working on that for you all. But until then, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.